thing, guys. Yeah. So now we're here jamming some Madhouse by Anthrax. Man, this should be our new fucking intro song. Like, it's the high mark. Oh, so they say. It's the high marks. Damn, they're gay. I don't like that last oh, wait, part, sorry, but everything else until then was great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I disagree with that last part very much so. Anyway, yes, <laughs> we are the high marks. Listen back to our show and try not saying that. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm all right. It's my fault we're late, Hyped. everybody. I had a long day. It was my dad's birthday cookout, <sighs> and I was also working on my girlfriend's truck, so. Happy and, birthday, Chuck Wood. Yeah, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Happy birthday, Mr. Chuck. I don't know if he really cares about your opinion, but I'll ask him. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that was a good okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not real big into cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we, we have a nice little chat going here. We got uh, Luke Scott. Uh, I assume that's going to be Dirk. Dirk, yes. And then June. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Glad to see everybody. Yeah, Dirk prefers Budweiser, he says. They're having a talk about beer, I guess. Oh, Scott's drinking. Okay, I see. Uh, Scott's drinking Coors Light. Uh, All right. Hey. Scott, our uh, returning champion, will be on with us later for Puff It for Pants. Well, my dad drinks Coors Light exclusively, and he likes those aluminum bottles, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're like 60 ounces. Like like, is it like a screw top, or does it just like, kind of like pop on and off? Screw top, but it's, in, okay. but it's made entirely of aluminum. He loves them. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I just like I've never had one. I've looked at it before, and I'm like, does that screw on, or is it just kind of like one of those things that just like pops on and off? Now, if I was a drinker, never I'd like them because they have a nice wide mouth, and I love a nice <laughs> wide mouth when you can just like slam it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I say if I'm drinking, I usually prefer to chug it because I mean I don't like the taste of any alcohol really. Me neither. If I'm drinking it, it's to get drunk. I don't drink for pleasure. Although, admittedly, at the height of my alcoholism, I would crave Jaeger bombs while I was at work. <laughs> I was like, man, yeah. I sure would like to taste a Jaeger Bomber 6 right about now. I had a problem for a minute there, dude. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot more than I, uh, a hell, probably than I ever have. My girlfriend's a bit of a drinker, and, uh, <laughs> you know me, I drink like, usually drink like two, maybe three times in a year. Yep. I've been drinking like two, maybe three times in a, per week. <laughs> Although, I feel like I was kind of a bad influence on you, uh, for a minute there anyway. You were kind of like, Always hanging out and drinking with me. <laughs> yeah, it was something to do. Yeah, I guess that's it. That was that was when you were over there at Whitaker and I was living with my mom, so I just fucking ditched the uh, ex and the kid at my at my mom's place and fucking came and hung out with you and got drunk. <laughs> yeah, and I hit a wall of Jaeger labels in the camper. Remember that shit? Yep. The wall yep. of Jaeger labels. Yeah, I was a drinker, boy. I'm not no more, but I was. I used to be able to hang with anybody, and now I couldn't hang with anybody. <laughs> yeah. That's I still, I still, I mean, I can put it down, but I don't know. I, I know when I'm done quicker nowadays. <laughs> like, all right, that was the last one. No more. I'll throw up. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. Luke says he would love to meet up with us one day, and I'll be honest with you, I'd love that too. If you came over here, it'd be so fucking awesome, dude. The first thing we do, and dude, I know, that's right. I'd rather go over there. I know we've already discussed <laughs> this, but the first thing that we would do is hit a gut range and just, and just fucking spend some ammo, dude. You'd have a blast with my toys. Yep. Go get you a hook. Here. And we'll bring Mojo because he has a <laughs> you know, big we got Michigan gun. We lose all our shoulders with his gun, and then after that, we'll, we'll use my little guns and have fun. <laughs> Let's say after you get done playing with Mojo's big gun, you can start playing with some of his firearms too. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you've done there. You've made it appear as if I was a homosexual and I was referring to his penis, and that was good strategy by you, sir. <laughs> see what you did there. You made me look like a homosexual. You totally well played. nailed me. God, I, I looked so gay just then. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boy, is there egg on my face. I mean, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is there Greg on my face. I mean, egg. <laughs> Yeah, I did it backwards. So, uh, how was y'all's week? <laughs> just 
Normal shit as usual, same shit, different day? Well, extremely busy for me, because we're installing some stuff in the back of the house, a little add-on deal. Actually, it's an outdoor kitchen, and man, I've just been working my ass off every day, pretty much, dude. But, it's all for a good cause, and after that, I'll be cooking outdoors, which is... <laughs> June yeah. says, Wiz is my favorite gay host. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I Who's mean, your favorite straight host? I've got yeah. terrible yeah. news for you, but I do appreciate the compliment. <laughs> yeah. You need to put favorite gay co-host. That's what he's going to correct you on. It's co-host. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> well, yeah, that fucking that outdoor kitchen on the back sounds pretty damn sweet. I'm not going to lie. Dude, there's a griddle, Dude, too. Did your fucking parents a flat top. hooked up bad place? Well, now, like every time I go over there, I'm like, dude, this place is even fucking sweeter. How? Let me tell you, though, <laughs> though it looks like there, it looks like we have money, but we go and buy wood, and then I gotta help build everything. It's not like we're having a guy install the shit. We're doing all the work, all the. Well, work. yeah, I mean that's the cost-efficient way to do it, but you still gotta have the money for the supplies. No doubt, and that's about uh, twelve hundred dollars in wood I've been doing the last week or two. So. <coughs> But Damn, compared to dicks. having that installed, is a such a small number. That, right. And it helps that my stepdad used to be a construction dude. He owned a company, and he knows how to do fucking everything, man. Dude, it's like a, they've had that place forever. I swear, like even though it's a trailer and it's used, those pro they could probably put that place up and get like fucking eighty grand for it right now. Dude, and, you, you, you don't even more. know. He insulated under the house and then spray insulated over that insulation so it's like better than a regular house honestly uh oh, shit. he's completely kept up everything upgraded every possible thing all the windows are new like house style windows anything you can think of it's completely been upgraded it's a house dude it'd be impossible to move this thing at this point oh yeah yeah uh, it's a sweet place. Why the fuck would you move it anyway? That's a fair point. I, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess you put it on some property, but you lose all the shit that's on the back of it then. Yeah, it's right on the woods. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Yeah. And now, I, uh, I'm not sure if you guys want to do something next week. It just occurred to me before we came on. I'm going to be out of town next weekend, so I won't be here to do the show Sunday. I'm going to be up in fucking Presque Isle, if you know where the hell that's at. I actually do like, not. No, it's about, not. Mm. it's about four and a half hours up north on the uh, coast of the Huron, Lake Huron. You lucky bitch. Yeah, well, I'm fucking hit up like an Airbnb, escort us a place for like a hundred bucks a night. It's four bedrooms. It's got five beds. I'm like, fuck yeah. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Damn. In the woods. Yeah. That's a lot it's of a big beds fat -ass that you cabin. can desecrate. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> It's got no, five beds, and we're going to visit them all. <laughs> that works out perfectly, because then it's like, my brother and his wife are gone, so they got a bed. Me and the girlfriend are gone, we got a bed. Then my mom and both the kids are gone, so they all each have their own bed. Yeah, well, that ruins my original plan. <laughs> no. No, maybe we'll send them out to the store and hit their beds real quick while they're gone. Right. <laughs> Evil! <laughs> They'd be like... But yeah, um... Looking forward Goldie to that for locks, sure. Like, somebody's been fucking in my bed. <laughs> right. Somebody's been fucking Ew, in my bed, too. Mm. <laughs> There's something in my bed, and it's still here. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's been fucking in my bed, and there's still a wet spot. <laughs> exactly. Why won't my sheet pull up? I'm glad everyone What's got on board wrong? on that. <clears throat> and then Mojo wrote it off into the sunset, but that's how you tell a joke with three people, everyone. <laughs> that's how you do it. It had a beginning, a middle, and a some kind of end there. It's like the three okay. bears, or like June's favorite story, the three gay bears. Yeah. <laughs> the three bear, the twink, and the three bears. <laughs> <laughs> that's not porridge. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Come on, guy! <laughs> if we were fucking crazy busy Friday, I took 39 fucking deliveries. 
ties my uh, record on most deliveries, and I walked out with two hundred and ninety-eight dollars in my pocket. I was just gonna say that's a lot of fucking deliveries, dude. That's nicely done. Yeah. Two hundred ninety-eight. That's a new record. That's almost three hundred dollars in a night. That's fucking insane. Like I don't even know if I've ever heard of anybody saying they've made three hundred dollars in a night del delivering pizzas. Waitressing or fucking bartending, sure. Delivering? No, I don't think I've heard of someone making three hundred in a shift. But, yeah, banked again this week. Fucking loving it. Dude, I'll tell you what. Whoa. Waitresses, if they're at the right place, make a ridiculous amount of money. And let me tell you what I mean. I used to work at a bar that's right around the corner from here. Uh, it, it's in the middle of, like, nowhere. But because of that, it's where everyone goes because there's nothing else. And these right. chicks w would be angry if they didn't make $1,000 cash every week in tips. That's insane. They'd be upset if they didn't hit a thousand, and that's just cash. Now they don't make a lot on their checks, but dude, that place is busy all the time, and them girls were making so much money it was almost like not fair. Yeah. yeah but they do got to deal with the like... idiots directly, and that's worth a lot, man. You know what it is. <coughs> See, I've been making like seven hundred dollars a week in tips, and been loving it. Yeah. And that's only working four days. Well, imagine being so spoiled that you were angry if you didn't make a thousand. Right. It's crazy. I say with my fucking paycheck, I've been coming coming in just shy of like a grand every and, week. And it's a pretty small bar, but it's so busy all day that they just are constantly moving, man. Constantly boom in and in and out, in and out. No. Oh, I, I know it hasn't come up yet. But I'm just gonna say it now, so it doesn't get spoiled later. Don't uh, don't mention who our uh, challenger to first Scott is tonight yet. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a big introduction when we bring him on. It'll be a surprise for everybody. Everybody's gonna be disappointed too. Everybody, oh, I thought it was somebody better. <laughs> All right, it took me that long to remember who it is myself. Yeah, see, but see. I remember who it is now. No. Yep. Let's see. What'd you do this week, Mojo? We rented a giant dumpster and were <laughs> basically cleaning out the basement, the garage, stuff that was behind the garage. Spring cleaning. Fuck yeah. That's yeah, all we could. It's a bitch to get done, but then like as soon as you die, or once you're finally done with it, you turn around and look at the area you're cleaning it, and you're like, ah. Oh, it feels so good. I feel good. so fucking accomplished yes, right now. Yes, yes. Absolutely. I think all the part the that, can... that we should have gotten 15 more feet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, still, I mean, it's a, it's a good start. <laughs> exactly, halfway there. <laughs> I mean, the girl. All me and the girlfriend did today was like fucking rearrange your mom's garage and like fucking pick up some of the clutter and throw away a few things. But like, it looked so much better when we were done. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> that, I know. Her mom lives, she lives with her mom. Her mom lives right across the street from where I work, so I fucking crash there, you know, three to four nights a week. Just because what's the point in driving 40 minutes home and then driving 40 minutes back the next morning when I can just stay the night directly across the street? So, like, I feel like a dick for staying there, like, not really giving her anything, so, like, if she has to do anything or if, like, you know, something needs to be done, I don't mind fucking doing it to help out. Like, here's my rent. <laughs> mm -mm. Put me to work. Mm -mm. Work me. Wait, that didn't sound right. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. What else? Um. That was some uh, sports are coming back. Have you heard about this uh, NBA thing that they're gonna be doing? What they're doing? With yeah, the NBA? I thought I heard that. For some reason, they were just having a tiny amount of teams, like not the whole. And they're basically just thing. doing a playoff. All done in Orlando. Yep. Uh, I want to say nine teams from the Eastern Conference and 13 from the West. Is that right? I think so, which doesn't make sense to me. I think it's like, it just like I think they went by win percentage, I thought they said. Yeah, I, would say, I was just going to say it must be based off a of record purely because they didn't split it up evenly amongst East and West. No, they sure did not. <laughs> But, but hey, whatever, that's cool. Speaking uh, of sports different. being back, there was a UFC last night, and there were two incredible knockouts. 
Yeah. One was like the Mortal Kombat whoopsie. I swear to God. He <laughs> bent way down and come all the way up and just cracked this motherfucker, dude. <laughs> oh my God, you have to see it. And like Dave Chappelle hitting uh, Godzilla? Yes. <laughs> and the other one is a straight right that just put dude down and he was done. It was awesome. Just a boom, done. Oh, yeah. But, dude, that uppercut is something that everyone in this chat needs to see right now. Wow. Cody Garbrandt is oh. back. I might have to look that up afterwards. I want to see that. Jeez. One of the best knockouts yeah, I've ever NHL's seen. Supposed to be doing... The NHL is doing something similar to the NBA. They're going straight into the playoffs as well. Dang I haven't it. heard, like, when or where, but supposedly they're going to be just jumping straight in the playoffs, so... We'll get NBA and NHL playoffs, and then it'll lead into the NFL. But you know what we probably won't have? Major League Baseball, because the owners are fucking ridiculously greedy and short-sighted and not to the point where they're going to kill the fucking league forever. The NFL? You pay attention to this at all? No. Oh, the MLB, Major League Baseball. Oh, yes, of course oh. I am. They're... Yeah, it's over $10 million. Yeah, so you know about... Yeah, the fuck, all over $10 million. These are billionaires. They're worried about losing $10 million a piece, basically. So they're going to shut down the whole fucking season. Yep. You know how many fans they could, like, gain if they would just get their heads out of their asses and start up a season right now because there's nothing going on? It's ridiculous. They would make almost all that money, or possibly all that money back in the extended fucking playoffs that the players agreed that they would do. But that still wasn't good enough for the owners. Like, the owners are just trying to fuck over the players more and more. And, like, some people are like, well, the fuck, players make a bunch of money every fucking year. But they don't realize that, like, 90% of the league is making, like, league minimum, which isn't that great. <laughs> so only 10% of the players are fucking banking millions and millions of dollars. Come on. After, dude, I mean... They've agreed to a pay cut like 50%. Yeah. What else do you want the players to do? Take another pay cut even after that? No. So the owners... And the owners are claiming like they would lose a shit ton of money. And the uh, Players Association saying, all right, well, open up your books. Let's show us. Prove to us that you're going to lose this much money. And the owners like, no, no, we're not going to do that. Can't do it. <laughs> you don't need to see that. I'm trying to yeah, find exactly. a gif of the knockout I'm talking about, and they're all in slow motion. I need one in real time. <laughs> because I'm going <coughs> to... I'm going to link it in the chat, and you guys are going to be like, Oh my God! That man is dead! That man is dead! He's a dead man! <laughs> I just seen uh, Dirk saying he's going to WWE talking about Conor McGregor, I think, and... Uh... It just reminded me that I was listening on the radio earlier this week, and, you know, like, between uh, commercial breaks on 97.1, they do, like, the CBS Sports Radio Flash or whatever, and they had Jim Rome come on, and he's, like, <laughs> bitching. He's like, this weekend, Rob Gronkowski lost the 24-7 championship. What is WWE thinking not keeping him a part of their brand? And he's like, between him losing the championship, and I can't remember what the fuck the other thing was. It was like something else that was fucking stupid. He was like, you could just count me as no interest for this company at all, or some shit like that. Oh, wasn't it Luke Gallows and yeah. Carl yeah. Anderson? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson being gone, and Gronk not having the 24-7 championship. He's like basically just saying, yeah, just close the doors. <laughs> Company's done. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Luke's the man. Watch like, this knockout that he just linked us. I'm listening, oh, well, sorry. Yeah. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. But no, yeah. no. That's yeah. cool. I mean, that Those are the anyway. two things that made Jim Rome quit watching wrestling. I... Oh, wow. Dirk yeah. just informed me that Lo Shirai just won the new the NXT Women's mm -hmm. Championship. Oh, no shit. She beat Charlotte, huh? Good. And, wow. um, what's her name? It was a three three way match. Oh, um. The former champion. Rhea? Yeah, Rhea. Ripley? No shit. It's very effective. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right at the buzzer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to link you the other camera angle in slow motion. You have to see this uh -huh. angle because this is the better angle of it. 
right there. It's in the chat. He comes up literally okay. like Mortal Kombat. And just <laughs> bloink. <laughs> yeah, no shit. If a punch could talk, it would have said, <laughs> Right, exactly. And he was so knocked out <laughs> that he couldn't even stay on a stool. He kept on almost fucking tipping over. They had to hold him up, and they finally just had him sit down on the floor like, fuck it. <laughs> he knocked him Take all seat, the way fucker. out, dude. His sh his Damn, equilibrium was off dumb. for a long time after he got knocked out. It was nuts. But he's all good now, and dude, he's such a tough guy too to get knocked out like that, man. Cody Garbrandt punches hard, dude. Anyway, I'm dumb, but I'm glad you all looked at that knockout because it's one of the best punches <laughs> I've ever seen. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my god. And the sound it makes is like a gunshot. <laughs> and then the fucking, it's right at the end of the round, which is the best part, because he was done. <laughs> Damn, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else went on this week? Anything? Uh... Uh, uh, okay. She's made as my witness. I'm screwing yeah. around on Twitter the, the other day, and I happened upon this pretty new account and it's called what will mongo do next <laughs> and it's and it's just a bunch of mongo gifts and i'm just watching them all and there's only about 12 he's uploaded at the time and i'm fucking watching them all first of all mongo sucks at life but also i, I was like jeez man you have to go and check this out and then i'll be damned if later this week you hear jim Cornette talking about that damn twitter account on his own show and I'm like no no everyone's gonna think I'm ripping Jim off but you're my witness I yep. was days ahead of this <laughs> go check yeah. out what will Mongo do next it's so hilarious how bad of a wrestler Mongo was <laughs> it's great it really is yeah I still didn't it's go so look at it but that's cause funny. I don't have fucking it's Twitter I deleted so the damn app funny. he's so embarrassingly bad at professional wrestling oh my god I love him oh it's so funny I saw a few He's of those against guys. Greg the Hammer Valentine, and he has to hit him with like 20 bionic elbows because I don't think he realized that, that that's the finisher. And so he just keeps doing it off the top rope like over and over again. And you can tell he's like, God damn it, stay down, you idiot. But he keeps jumping right back up. Oh, my God, it's so funny. Oh, my God, look at Mongo. He can't be stopped. <laughs> he's freaking, it's like, this is my finisher, stupid. You're killing me. <laughs> You're killing my career right now. You're shitting all over the business. <laughs> all over it. Oh, whoa, hey, I'm reading the chat. Hey, I'm not hating on Mongo, and I would party with him too. I'm hating on his pro professional wrestling ability. It was embarrassingly <laughs> fake. It was embarrassingly fake. But uh, I'd party with him too. He's fucking <laughs> embarrassing. He seems like a maniac. I bet he'd be a lot of fun to hang out with. I just uh, don't want to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to do it. Nah. But yeah, I'm happy that I, I remember Might that. Be I was there first before Jim Cornette, damn it. <laughs> Mongo. Mongo McMichael. No, that name would be fucking. It wouldn't stand nowadays. Scott said, I'm making so, fun of people. So much blow with him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Uh, he's oh, not here okay. anymore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang. <laughs> do some Fucking more Mongo Rex, man. <laughs> what will Mongo do next? <laughs> yeah, he was a horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a horseman. Oh my god, I can't believe he was a horseman. That's. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't wasn't he like tag team partners with that that, was... that Benoit guy? <laughs> Benoit. Of all things. <laughs> that Benoit guy. That, that one dude. Well, that, you that know Benoit a, balls. That, 
The guy that put over the weight bench. Weightlifter guy. (laughs) (laughs) He's put over the weight bench. (laughs) Oh, dang. Damn it. Well, my man, if you're losing... (laughs) If you're leaving the business, you always got to put the next guy over, right? It's the right thing to do. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'll laugh at myself because that was some evil shit. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading the message, oh, so it took a second crap. for it to sink in what you said. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that, but for half a second, Lenny McTease was on our... Yep, Luke Listeners said, what's up, Lenny, long time. And then she said, oh, my God, is that Luke guy and left. <laughs> Wait a minute, fucking go, Luke. She's like, oh, oh no, Sam, fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> fuck it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Should we just, uh... Fuck, yeah, fuck, I, fuck. I literally got fuck, nothing else to record right now. I know it's only about a half oh, hour. Oh, here's a good gonna... one. Huh. <laughs> this Monday, I was going to do an episode of... Uh, Wonder Raps about the new Run the Jewels record, but then Mojo hopped on R. Mixler and aired it, and everybody thought it was me, and he never corrected anybody because he was in pain. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't be doing it Monday because why bother <laughs> but it's pretty funny that he fucking trolled everybody I was like oh alright well I guess I won't be doing any editing <laughs> works for me day off villainous <laughs> yeah to go in there um, th- 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 that wasn't me guys <laughs> You got trolled. <laughs> but that is a good record, and it's like they recorded it in like the last week, but the lyrics are all about like what's happening right now and shit. And there's always a ton of bass in their music. I know everyone likes that. I know I do. Yeah. Yeah. My One of my favorite tracks was Goonies versus E.T. I liked... Uh, hmm. Walking in the snow, that was a good one. Yeah, I know nothing about this. <laughs> You're talking about the bass you shit. Like, that's one of the things that I'm liking about some of these new, newer metal bands. Is like They got those big ass bass drops in it. Yeah, I'm sure you know from doing the sound. Yep, that's really popular now- nowadays. Oh, I actually kind of like it. Like, if it's placed right and done right, I mean, don't fucking do it too goddamn much. Don't even do it every song. Just, you know, know when to use it in the right spot, and it actually worked really well with some songs. <laughs> Sometimes it gets fucking annoying, like, all right, dude, chill. Chill on the fucking bass drops, all right? <laughs> I don't need a bass drop every fucking, on every eight, you know? <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it. You have access to a TR-808 sample. <laughs> right. I get it. I'm sure you got it on YouTube, the same place the other 12 fucking bands ahead of you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Jesus shit. Christ. Unless you're Iron Maiden or Primus, no bass solos. In fact, I've, I think we've reached the point where we, I don't think no one's allowed to do that now. It's already been done enough. Everyone had a drop in their, uh, their fucking heavy breakdowns. So what we need now is a programmer to program actual bass lines for people. You know who doesn't get enough fucking credit for being a good bass player. I was listening to the album the other day, because uh, I hadn't heard it in fucking forever, and I was in a goofy mood. But uh, Psycho Stick's first album. Dude, they're he's fucking, so good. Their bass player is fucking sick. Oh, that record is a fucking clinic of bass playing, dude. He's, dude, he's the shit. He's perfect. Well, this guy does not get ever talked about about being a fucking great bass player, and he's the shit. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that band uh, Trapped? Yes, I yeah. think so. Their bass player is a monster, and nobody knows but me. But I'm like, this guy is a musician. Yeah, I was unaware. He's a monster. He's so good. <sighs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. If you listen to him, he's a he's a smooth motherfucker, man. 
So Scott says good. trapped. Wow, they suck. Yeah, I agree. No, trapped. Yeah, th they're not great. <laughs> that sucks. I'm not saying they're great, but they're bass player. Listen to the stuff he does. He's so professional. He's a beast. He really is. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. He's a fucking badass. But yeah, I'm not like a major trip fan or something like that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I don't like have all their albums, but he good. He is good. All right, well, oh, it's good. let me oh, see, how long has it been? It, well, it's, it's actually been longer than I thought. If you guys want to do a little musical break, and then we'll get ready for some Puffer Pass. Yeah, we can do that. All uh, right, let me... We'll try some music, and uh, Scott, get ready. We'll call you in in about, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Yeah. And we'll get the challenge around here, and we'll be back with Puffer Pass. Stick around, motherfuckers. Yeah, you fags. What's with all the cheese? Remember how the fuck? All right, we're how back. How much smarter is he than me? Oh, we're back. <laughs> how much smarter? <laughs> how much smarter is he than me? We That's a good are question. live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do it live. Yeah, how much yeah. smarter is he? That was a great question. I love that. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, our challenger has uh, is not yet ready. Apparently, he says he's gonna let me know when he's ready, which is hopefully soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. alright. He was a little late on running me. I'm like, uh-oh, I'm sitting here trying to think of, like, last-second replacements. Like, hmm. Who the fuck can I get in here? Like, anybody but Mark from Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he, he constantly, oh, come on. Oh, dude. You were already on, damn it. You were already on this one. You can do the next one. <laughs> he was already on. Not right. Yeah, not right now. No. Oh, Mark. No okay, he no is ready. Fucking... <laughs> oh, I will add him to the call. All right, here we go. Excuse me. All right. We put my human facade on. Meet someone new. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give my shit away up front, guy. <laughs> Thank you. Make him work for it. You're worth it. Okay. Wait, what are we talking Dead about? Again. Oh, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. I hear oh, you. Right. What's up, man? Hi. Oh, not much, you? Uh, it's huh? smoking a lot and drinking coffee go. and such. I was, I was literally sat in my car getting ready to smoke a joint. And then uh, I look at my phone and it's like, yeah, we'll call you in five, ten minutes. And I was like, fuck, time change again. Fucking me. I thought it was going to, <laughs> I thought it was going to be another hour. Is that, is that, okay, here in an hour and five minutes, I got a podcast to do. Uh-oh, I've yeah. got a notification. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, five minutes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Smoke welcome to our challenger this week. <laughs> our challenger this week, our brother in smoke, one of them anyway, Tyler Fudge from Suplex City Limits. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you. Hello. Yeah, sounds right. like everywhere I go in life, just one applaud. It's great. <laughs> one. Just a single one. It's usually me. <laughs> He's also from the Federation, too. I feel I should plug that yes, one as yes. well. I mean, Federation. Yeah. yeah, Federation. There you go. Plug. Plug done. Oh. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here to beat everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just here to try to win and uh, be stoned at the same time, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not here to plug anything. At all? I mean, sure, Suplex City Limits, we talk about wrestling, Federation, we also talk about wrestling. Hey! Look him up on go. Google, apparently. All right. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. Google, yeah, the Futter, yeah. <laughs> you can find it anywhere you find podcasts. There you go. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. Sorry, I'm a dick. <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> and then, of course, we have our returning champion, Scott Greer, not queer, from yeah. It's Pathetic with Scott and Ryan Bread. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Tyler. So it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too, uh, Scott. What's up? Since oh, you know the boys here, you got to be all right. <laughs> I guess, eh? I'm always <laughs> pro rocks at. 
Uh, we run in questionable wrong. circles, at least, so I can't really... I'm not sure I'm comfortable, like, vouching for anyone, exactly. <laughs> Especially in today's climate, you just never know. That was not previously right. agreed upon, and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you think your consent is a choice? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's just, it's, it's right. Well, I, I, well, well, you know, I know June sure hopes not. Champion. June was champion for how many weeks running? <laughs> what? Uh, well, he's made, he, oh, June was champion was for like, like three weeks? At least three weeks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't been like dominating this tournament or any shit like that. No, <laughs> no that's going to be your, uh, your first title defense if I'm correct. That's <sighs> probably going to be my last. <laughs> I almost won. We'll find out. Well, I almost won one. Yeah, in almost. fact, there's only way, there, there's only one way to find out, and that's to play our game. Let's do it. Puff or pass, bitches. <laughs> it's okay. on. Yep. Oh, we... episode seven of Puff or Pass. Okay. Episode seven. Did you want uh, me to um, keep yeah, score did you, did or win? Uh, scorekeeper mojo. Yeah. Uh, either one of you. <laughs> as long as I'm so, not doing it. <laughs> As you can tell, we're very organized. Yep. <coughs> organized, that's, that's a trait that I don't really care about, honestly. Right. I think oh. it's an overrated trait. I have located yeah, my notepad. I can do the score if you want me to, Mojo. No, you got a notepad. All right, sounds good. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Oh, uh, let's go over the rules for Tyler Fush, since he is unaware. Yes. Um, one of you has control. I will um, pick a category at random. And once I read what category it is, you have the choice to puff, which is answer, uh, try to answer the question, or pass, which means you pass it off to your opponent okay. and they have to answer the question. Okay. Uh, if you answer it and get it correctly, it's worth 100 points. But if you pass it to your opponent and they answer it correctly, it's worth 200 points. Oh, okay. I think I got this. I, th I, th I think I understand. All right. Appreciate you don't lose any points for getting it wrong. No, that's that's where I went wrong last time. See when we played <laughs> yeah. Jeopardy rule. Yeah. 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 You don't lose points for wrong answers, but if you get it wrong, your opponent can try to answer it correctly for 50 points and then control the board. Okay. All right. I'm down. I'm ready to fuck. Oh, and uh, each of you also have one lifeline. Like now, you're not in the chat, so I mean, we we you can ask the chat and we'll look for you. But uh, you know, if you're hung up on a question, you can ask. Ask the chat if they know, now, and uh, is, maybe they can help you out. Fine question thing. Can I ask, like, say, go ask my son? Absolutely. Can ask who you like. No answer. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure. Okay. I was, I, I'm just seeing if we're <laughs> limited to physical spaces, or just you know. I know it's whoever you want to ask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, hell, you could. Fudge me. You could just be like. I'm using my uh, lifeline, and Scott will tell you the answer like he did last week with June. <laughs> I was I was going to say, how about, can I ask Google? I do have, I do have You can have ask people, Google you can't ask Google. Well, Google He's like, all right, I'm going to use my lifeline, I'm going to ask my girl Siri. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> oh, Alexa, that would have been a funnier one. Damn it. Come on. All right. So let's get this started. Since Scott is the returning champion, he gets to have first, uh, he has control of the board first. Okay. And for our first category, we have tragedies. <laughs> Scott, okay. puff pass. Puff. This helium-filled aircraft was filmed bursting into flames and crashing to the ground. Oh, the, the Hindenburg humanity. disaster. That is correct. That's a hundred points to Scott. Now, I, that's, yeah. I knew that one. That's probably the. I bet you I won't need more. <laughs> <laughs> some of these are easier. Some of these are harder. And then uh, I was struggling to come up with another category since I just went through all the tragedies and disasters and shit for category four. Puff or pass. Disaster films <laughs> or disaster movies, whatever. Ooh, as opposed to actual disasters. Well, I'm going to pass on this. All right. Tyler Fudge for a chance for 200 points. A 2014 movie that follows around a storm filming crew yes. and a couple of 
local high schoolers on a day uh, sorry ho local high schoolers on a day their town gets destroyed by tornadoes oh my <laughs> on a day their town can, can you say it again can I hear the beginning part yeah. again it's a 2014 movie that follows around a storm filming crew and a couple of local high schoolers on a day that their town gets destroyed by tornadoes I you know what the the only answer I have is a movie from 1997, not 2014 or 96, <laughs> and that's Twister. So I, I I don't know. All right, well that is incorrect. Well, um, yeah. Scott, can you steal? Yeah. Well, absolutely I mean, not. I, I like Twister his... too, though. Yeah, I love Twister. There you go. See me and Scott. See we're we're. Me me and Scott's gonna get along. See. <laughs> My dad you know, is the one in the house that really loves that fucking movie. Yeah, that's because he's got the hot. That's because he's got the hot for Helen Hunt. See, just wants to see I, the fucking. Just, I, let's not get off topic. Let's start talking about Helen Hunt, guys. All right. No, <laughs> Twister is one of my favorite movies. I fucking love Twister. <laughs> Twister is actually one of the first movies I've seen in theaters. Yeah, no oh, shit. I wish I'd have seen that one theater. But no, this movie actually was Into the Storm. Okay. Uh, that was the movie we were looking for. Right? Into the Storm. I'll, I'll that one, then. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. Well, um, let's see. Scott passed, so even though he didn't get it right, Tyler still has, or Tyler has control of the board now, and the category is animals. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take this one. All right. A little puff. <laughs> you can you can find this extremely slow creature hanging out by their three toes in the jungle. Oh, that's a sloth. That is correct. Woo! Yeah! Just, uh, that's going to mm -mm. be a fucking easy category, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fudge, Puff or Pass, back to disaster movies. I'm going to take Puff on this one as well. All right. 1997 film about a volcano <laughs> erupting and wiping out a small Idaho town off the oh. map. Oh. Is this, is this, is, this is not Dante's Peak, is it? Is that your answer? <laughs> oh. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, well, that is the correct answer. Yes. Good shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Wow. <laughs> Never heard of it. How did you okay. do that? Killer ass flick, actually. I liked it. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen it. All right. You right. okay? Like uh, last time I played this, I'm Canadian and I got all of the American stuff right for the <laughs> the weed. So I, I I got some I got some odd knowledge in my head. And then there were the <laughs> <words>. <laughs> <laughs> And Luke. No. We all got some odd uh, odd thoughts here though. Anyway. Yeah. Y'all hear the Jeopardy eventually, Ho hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need it. Track down one of our returning champions, and then we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's gonna happen. I might have to replace that de returning champion. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how we'll get goes. back to you. And we'll get <laughs> but, back right. to you. <laughs> and getting back to the game. Fudge, puff or yep. pass? Disaster movies again. I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass this time because I feel like uh, I'm not gonna get this one. Okay, Scott. 2009 movie about the earth falling apart while a man tries to get his family to safety, likely inspired by the Mayan calendar. 2012. That is correct. 200 points. Nicely done. Oh, I haven't been doing the sound effects. Fuck. <laughs> sound effects from here on out. <laughs> we'll put them in post. You see what happens when you, like, s smoke a bunch of wax and then try to do, like, anything? I, I know, man. It's like when you take two hits of LSD and drink a six-pack and try to do a podcast. It's, it's so <laughs> hard to drive after that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Scott. Puff or pass? Animals. Puff. All right. This South Central Chinese giant is endangered because they just don't seem to want to fuck. <laughs> Panda bears! <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> it's not the mood. Okay. Very elegantly put. All right. 
the first time we got this is to this category. This is a Luke Birch category, by the way. Thank you, Luke, oh, no. for helping me out. Under the bus. Who? <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Puffer Pass. Who am I? <laughs> Puff. Puff. All right. I'm an English playwright that died on my birthday, widely regarded as the greatest playwright of all, all time. William Shakespeare. That is correct. Thank you, Luke. I know that much <laughs> about our culture. Oh, our there, <laughs> there's one he put in here. I'm like, dude, this one's fucking hard as shit. So you want me to change it? I'm like, no, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm curious to em. see if nobody knows it. I don't know it, but maybe I'm just ignorant. Let's see. Change it. Damn, this fucking this one just likes this category. All right, Scott, puff or pass? Disaster movies. Fuck, I hate these. Pass. <laughs> All right, back over to Fudge. Global warming has caused a massive climate shift, and the Earth starts to go back into an ice age in this 2004 movie. Oh, the, oh. the the day after tomorrow. That is correct. Fuck. 200 points. Yeah. That's another one of my dad's favorites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a 100-point game right now, fellas. Ooh, oh, shit. ooh, that's that's exciting. It's a Scott with the 100-point lead. <laughs> Fuck, one question. All right. <laughs> All right, Tyler, puff or pass? Animals. Puff. All right. Large jungle cat that are kinged by Joe Exotic. Oh, oh, it's a tiger. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Just> correct. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. I knew I wasted 10 hours on that show for something. <laughs> it was not wasted. We all Man, well, it really it. wasn't. It was fantastic. I, I loved it. It was <laughs> tragic and disgusting. You know what's real tragic? You know what's real tragic? That my that, 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 that tiger, tiger King, that was me, and, and I had those tigers and everything. And now, you know who owns my, my place now? You know who owns it? Who? Fucking Carol Baskins. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk Baskins. Do you know how famous uh, Tiger Joe Exotic's got to be on the inside? He's not going to be fucked with now, man. He's going to be all right. Some money on his commissary, people. Not yeah, just because the horse part of the... Uh, Sorry, the host was taking a drink. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, let's keep this thing going. Okay, who's there? Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of All right, Tyler Fudge, sticking with animals. Puff pass. I'm gonna fucking puff. All right, large canine that travel and hunt in packs. <laughs> well, uh, wolf. That is correct. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it a? Is it a dog? Is it too easy? <laughs> is he making it too easy? I know. I, it's it's a a, trick I fucking got done with this category, and I was like, man, this is super simple. Hey, All right, well, uh, if you don't have any help and you need to get it done quick, sometimes you pick animals as a category. That's how it goes. <laughs> right. That's what happens. That's how it happened, what actually. I'm just waiting for colors. I'm just <laughs> waiting for the answer to be Batista at some point in time. Yeah. <laughs> This reddish color is the color of blood and stop signs. Red! That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's burgundy and apple. <laughs> All right, Fudge, puff or pass? Disaster movies. I ain't gonna puff. Okay. After a 9.0 magnitude earthquake hits L.A., The Rock sets out to save his estranged wife and their daughter in this 2015 shit show. <laughs> oh, no. This is the one with the fucking white monkey. Oh. oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I was thinking it was the other rock movie. Mm -hmm. Scott. Mm -hmm. All right, Scott, can you steal? San Andreas? That is correct. Oh, is, uh, that's, that's not... that was the one I was thinking. Oh. The other one, okay. man, I say the name of the other one. Is that like a topic? <laughs> that was Rampage. The other one was Rampage. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's right. Well, well I was okay, fucked either so. way. There you go. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, Scott, 50 points on the steal, and now you have control of the board. And, oh, son of a bitch. Just close the damn app. <laughs> All right. Category is tragedies. Puff or pass? 
I, I puff all day on trash. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole world stopped on this date as we looked on in horror as plant two famous towers fell after being hit with planes. Uh, what the fuck? Do I even need to I actually know. answer it's September eleventh, two thousand one, the New York attacks and the Washington I know, it's the easiest one on here. <laughs> okay. Like, how do you how do you do tragedies though and not include nine eleven? <laughs> Get a broader historical view of things. <laughs> I got ten questions. I had a couple. <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting one of the answers to be Ember Moon's call up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Her career is probably done now anyway. That girl used to be my favorite. She was so good, and they just fucking ruined her. Yeah, I heard that her, her ankle or ACL or whatever injury she had might be. Uh, yeah. Career ending. Career ending injury, yep. Yep. Hmm. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Uh, Scott, <laughs> puff or pass? Animals. Puff. What is the largest flying bird in the world? Oh my god. You know, I'm gonna fucking not get this. Let me think about <laughs> it. No, I'm not gonna get this. Fuck. The largest flying bird in the world? Yep. I had to say flying because it's different from the largest bird in the world. <laughs> oh, you got five seconds. Fuck. Oh. All right, Fudge, can you steal? I'm I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, right. Bald eagle. That is incorrect. I was oh, gonna speed. say pelican. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean that's the funny gear. Albatross. <laughs> it's <laughs> nope. The Andean condor, actually. You. That doesn't oh, even who exist that? anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you read that in some fucking Bombay magazine. <laughs> I've known that since I was a kid. That's, that, you ever watch Johnny Quest? I mean, that's, that's what's <laughs> flying away with Bandit in the opening credits. <laughs> Touche, sir. Andean condor. We should have known that. <laughs> Touche. That's saying you should have known. I'm just saying, come on. <laughs> it's not that... All right, uh, Scott, puff or pass? Who am I? Puff. Cheese man. Oh. I shaved. What? Wait, wait. What, what's up? What mojo? Oh, <laughs> he oh, said, I "Who that am was I?" He was making the joke. Oh, You're okay, cheese, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I thought he, I thought he had something to say. <laughs> All right, Scott. <laughs> I shaved my head for my Oscar-winning role in, in Les Misérables, and then played a Batman villain in that same year. Oh, fuck. That's a good question. I like it. Can you repeat that Steve question? Luke, <laughs> that's Luke Birch for you. Steve Ledger. Come on. Hmm? Heath Ledger. He said Heath Ledger. Yeah. Heath Ledger. That is incorrect. Tyler Fudge, can you steal? Can Can I get the year again? Um, oh, shit. No. <laughs> I Just maybe repeat the down. question. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got the year. I just didn't write it down. Oh, I, no, I thought you said the year in the question. That's fine. If you can just... No, I just said in the same year. That's all. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, 2000, 2012, sorry. Tom Hardy? That is incorrect. It's actually a female, Anne Hathaway. Oh. Uh, oh, my... Uh, <laughs> fucking Catwoman. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Not really. Everyone did him right. get quiet and shit. Damn, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Like, yeah, no. yeah, why not? I was unaware of this. I'm sure she's a nice lady. <laughs> All right, Scott, I'd say puff or pass, but we know we're going to puff because it's tragedies. <laughs> so, <laughs> the levees in Louisiana were not ready for this storm as many people died Hurricane in the ensuing flood. 2005. <laughs> that is correct. He even knew the he year. He came in with the note. Yep. Yeah. All right, Scott. Sticking with tragedies. You lucky Puff. Master. Christ. Puff. This fame, the most famous ocean liner of all time, because the unsinkable ship sunk on its maiden voyage. Titanic, 1911. That is correct. All right, back to disaster movies. Puff, puff. pass. I'm gonna take the risk and, and puff, like I always do. <laughs> Drugs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a tornado research team 
who sets out to make scientific history by releasing their prototype into an active tornado in 1896. Uh, <laughs> 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 that is correct. He talked so high speed to try to get that whole question out, and Scott still cut him off. <laughs> Sorry, it was, am, am I not supposed to? Twister, shut up! No, that's fine. Shut up, it's Twister! <laughs> we were talking about it earlier, so yeah, he's gonna get this. <laughs> Alright, Scott. Puff or pass? Who am I? Puff. Famous theoretical scientist and er, cosmologist that wrote a brief history of time. Stephen Hawking? That is correct. Steve, screaming Stephen Hawking. <laughs> that philandering asshole fucked him. He was a legendary dick. Brief history of being a. Anyway, I'll Look, save dude, it for my own podcast. He's completely <laughs> paralyzed. He rolls around in a chair. He looks like a lump of shit, and he still managed to cheat on his wife. <laughs> right, holy <laughs> God. What the fuck? Um, but he rubs my dick better I, I, than I you could do. be more impressed with me. Not uh, so bad. Game. You're hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> You're ripping my foreskin. <laughs> oh, Titanic was 1912, Luke. Okay, I uh, I will always take Luke versus put it over my own. Yeah, yeah, me too. He keeps his numbers pretty straight, don't he? Yep. All right, All right Scott. Scott has pass. 1,050 points. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Scott has 1,050 points, and Tyler Fudge has 600. <laughs> yes. And I got to say that the score on the left-hand side of the column has not changed in a while. No, no, he's. I haven't had a chance. He's just answering Scott questions. Scott is on a real roll right now. It really is. He's answered like yeah, so a lot of questions in a the row. Well, that... well, tragedy keeps on coming up in... Like, yeah. like he said, the he, he's a that he hasn't been able to get. I'm one of them depression cases. Nobody got those two. <laughs> yeah, I'll say the couple he hasn't been able to get, Tyler wasn't able to get either, so he wasn't able to take advantage. Yeah, he's just rolling but along. But this, uh... Take advantage. Scott, you still have control? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right, Scott. Disaster movies. Puff or pass? Pass. Oh, all right. <laughs> After all that, fudge. he passed. Oh, look, look at that pity pass. What a pity pass. Not a pity pass. Some I don't think he would do that. Oh, man. I got lucky with <laughs> Twister. Yeah, uh, let's see if Fudge can get 200 on this. There's a comet hurling towards Earth, and we're pretty much fucked, but Elijah Wood <laughs> lives at least in this 1948 drama. <laughs> 19. Okay, so Elijah. Now I gotta think, okay? Because <laughs> there's, there's two possibilities. There's there's one. I just can't remember which one Elijah Wood was in. But I don't think <laughs> Elijah Wood was in Armageddon. Right? No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah cuz they like cuz they destroy the comet or the astronaut and it wasn't it was an astronaut. No, wait, an astronaut's what goes out in space. You're stalling, uh, you got 10 seconds. <laughs> astronaut. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with deep time. impact. No, that's correct. Yeah. Is it yes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. Yes. <laughs> See, I was gonna get the hint of what June would like to do to Willoughby. Deep <laughs> impact. That could be Armageddon yeah. too, depending yeah. on his move. Is... I was gonna answer Armageddon. Because <laughs> <laughs> like they both came out around the same time, and that's what I remember as a co as a kid. Just both of them, everything always, you know, if a, one movie came out, another one came out along with it, and yeah, they all kind of started to blend into one. Or maybe yeah. they are now that we're getting older. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, that was 200 points to Tyler Fudge, and he also has control of the board. So, puff or pass? Who am I? Fuck these these questions have been hard for me. So I'm gonna go with uh, I go puff. Yeah, I go puff. I go puff. puff. Yeah. All right. I'm the king of rock and roll, and my death is shrouded in conspiracy. Am I really still alive 43 years later? Uh, well, I I, I I hope it's Elvis Presley. Yes? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so if, this, if this is not the right answer, I'm fucked. If it's Michael <laughs> Jackson, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, Wiz. Hey, Wiz. Hey, Wiz. Take a pop. I need you to make me a peanut butter and a sandwich. <laughs> right away, pronto. Oh, I'll well. be on the toilet. I'll be on the toilet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
In advance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Alright, folks. Puff or pass? Animals. Puff. Okay, what is the largest land animal in the world? What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> the largest land animal. It's. It's gotta be an elephant, right? Uh, that's correct. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna be like some trick question. It is now yeah, a I was, 50 gonna, point I was gonna ask, do you mean mass, large, or large in height? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And either way, Bobby wins. <laughs> well, oh, Jerry oh, wins. Let's, let's not talk about Bobby, Anthony, and Jerry and such a. Yeah, he's not even in here. He oh, didn't even appreciate oh, that. Oh, Green Manor. He is a <laughs> good friend of ours. Of course. Love Bobby. A very right. large, large good friend of ours. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby's a beautiful, beautiful man. Yes, he is. Yes. So, so we are going to be larger than us. Just gorgeous. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Puffer pass. Tragedies. Why? You know what? I'm not giving this. I'm not gonna let him fucking touch it. <laughs> Fuck you, Scott. I'm I'm puffing on this tragedy. Uh, yeah. All right. The most fatal pandemic in recorded human history, responsible for 75 to 200 million deaths from 1347 to 1351. The 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 Black Plague. No, Spanish flu. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. That is, uh, no, I'm gonna say that's incorrect. You said the Spanish flu. Incorrect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, steal. Answer that. <laughs> yeah, Scott, you can try to steal. That would be the Black Death. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> if Fudge had answered the Black, the uh, not the Black yeah. Plague, I might have oh. given credit earlier. <laughs> But like I stuttered, I'm like, oh, let's see if I can figure it out. <laughs> I, it all together. <laughs> I just turned that ball around. It's still my gimmick. Fuck you, Scott. Well, Scott gets 50 points for the steal and control of the board back. Okay. Scott, tragedy is buffer pass. <laughs> I'm going to take on my own pipe, Bob. All right. The worst nuclear disaster in history occurred in 1986 when a reactor at this Russian the plant Chernobyl. had a catastrophe. Catastro catastro oh, okay. Great. Yep, Chernobyl. That's correct. I don't even bother. <laughs> well, my father is obsessed with me. <laughs> All right. Puff or pass, Scott? Animals. Puff. Puff. This animal is sometimes mistaken for a bear, even though it's in the weasel family. We'll fuck you up with Berserker Rage, though. <laughs> um, Wolverine? That is correct. Oh, I wasn't certain on that <laughs> Berserker one. Rage. <laughs> yeah, that okay, was a little, uh, nice little clue. Sniff, <laughs> sniff. <laughs> sni <laughs> but, but the tragedy is that he's human or just one slug. <laughs> was that was, that was, who even talks like that? That it's was fucking wet. Talk. Yeah, whoever made that happen, that was some genuine sounding shit. And, yeah, uh, I yeah, liked like, it a lot. Whoever you were, you should get it checked. It, you might have sprayed. I think that might have been Scott. <laughs> Easy, buddy. The champ you, just shed himself. You're gonna blow out your O ring or drop a lung. <laughs> My O ring is right. cured, don't worry. The bearings are not so hot. <laughs> Scott, puff or pass? Who am I? Puff. I'm a 61 year old musician with an adoption fetish. I've been called the Queen of Pop. Oh, Madonna. That is correct. With an adoption <laughs> fetish. <laughs> Ooh, I get all steamy every time I see one of them little homeless kids. Is that Ethiopian <laughs> belly. <laughs> that Ethiopian <laughs> belly, wow. <laughs> Easy, Jim Corda. Whew. <laughs> but I had but, don't kill people. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd like to apologize to all the Ethiopians. <laughs> no, we're listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
All right, Scott, buffer pass. Animals. Well. Large North American deer, commonly referred to as reindeer when they are domesticated. Oh my god, I'm not... <laughs> Can it, would you repeat it? Large North American deer, commonly referred to as reindeer when they are domesticated. Elk? That is incorrect. Fudge, can you steal? I'm going to... Caribou? That is correct. Fudge. Okay. All right. 50 points to Fudge and control of the board. And the category is tragedy. Puff or pass? I'm going to puff. All right. This is a rough one, too. Oh, no. In 1815, this volcano erupted in Sumbawa and killed roughly 100,000 people in the immediate aftermath. Uh, oh, I don't know. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so this is a rough one, too. Um, I don't know. No, I don't know. I just... Uh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Can I ask the chat? Yes, you can. Uh, you can. <laughs> Come on, chat. Using his Come on. Okay, we'll have to wait a and, moment because of the delay, but they'll answer here in a moment. I imagine Luke will yeah. be all over this one. Yeah, Wins come on. And Mojo, you no. don't know the answer, so you guys can participate oh, as well if you oh, want. Oh, what's the year that that was? 1815. 1815. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking the only... I, I, I oh, Luke Birch says Mount Tambora. Mount yes. Tambora is my answer because it's better than mine. All right, Mount yeah, Tambora the, is... <laughs> Correct. Fuck yes. <laughs> yes. As soon as I heard Scott say he knew it, I was like, I gotta ask the, the yeah, audience. Good, good yeah, use of the lifeline there. I knew Luke would get that, and I had no fucking idea, and he, shot, and he immediately answered. Can I, can I get an update on the score? Sure. Uh, Scott's still in the lead with 1,400, and you are just behind it. 1,250. Shit. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's a hundred and fifty. Oh, wow, that's game. pretty close. Mm -hmm. One fifty. Yep. And Fudge, you still have control of the board. And the category is Who Am I? Puff. I won an Oscar in two thousand six for playing June Carter and a Golden Globe as executive producer of Big Little Lies. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. That is correct. Holy shit! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well Thank done, you. sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking nobody was going to get that one. Like, I almost thought about changing it, and I was like, nah, fuck it. I'm going to leave it in there. And that will make it a 50-point game. It's a 50-point game. All right, and Fletch has control of the board. Category is disaster movies. Puff or pass? I know, I know a puff. Puff, All right. puff, puff. <laughs> After I've never, a couple I've, of... <laughs> I've never been a fan of passing, so... No, yeah. I, I always hate the path part, too. I feel you. <laughs> After a couple of earthquakes, lava fills the sewers and spews into the streets of L.A. in this 1997 thriller. Escape from L.A.? <laughs> that is incorrect. Fuck! Scott, can you steal? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Ask the chat or something, I mean. Uh, chat, he said, you have the no. update yet? I'm wondering if you have my lifeline, Luke, or in the chat. Luke... All right, he's trying to use a lifeline. Can anybody help him out? Or June, help me. <laughs> I actually Mojo. volcano. Yep, Mojo says volcano. And Scott, that is correct. <laughs> what a bullshit <laughs> name for a movie. What a uh, bullshit name. Volcano. You. Exactly. God bless you, mysterious patron in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> serious patron. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Next thing you know, you're going to tell me that some loser made a movie back in the day called The Birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Have I got news oh, for I, you? I, I love that movie. The Birds is great. I love it. That's not to be confused with The Burbs. <laughs> That's a great movie, too. <laughs> it is. Where do you um, think you're going, um, hey? Pinocchio? <laughs> we want to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is our pal. <laughs> All right, uh, Scott, you have control of the board after that 50 points and steal. And the category is tragedies. Puff. So we know you're puffing. Millions of people watched live in 1986 as the space shuttle explode as, as this space the shuttle. Okay, that is correct. 
Yeah, I watched yep, it at school, it at school. Live on a TV at school. How great is that? Yep. Did you really? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. Yep. All right, Scott. Puff or pass? Animals. Puff. Long legged pink wading bird that Tony Montana called a pelican. A flamingo. That is correct. <laughs> You got it right, man. <laughs> I always love that scene in Scarface. He's like, come on, Pelican. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a fucking, they're flamingos, Tony. What are you to talking about? Too bad I already got all the coke I was going to do this week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scott, puff or pass? Who am I? Who? Puff. I'm hip hop's first billionaire, so even though I've got 99 problems, money ain't one. <laughs> Jigga who? Jigglebot, Daisy. That is correct. I like the clue. That was Jiggle. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that this category is all Luke Birch. So, oh. hear that, Luke? They like it. Luke Birch. They like you. And... They really like you. <laughs> Speaking of like you, know, the fucking the random shit like Scott. Scott, tragedies, puffer piss. Oh. What was the most environmentally damaging oil spill ever? Named after a ship ran a around the Bly Reef. I in found Valdez. That is correct. I love that you knew that. I would never have gotten that one. <laughs> I knew that one too, but I'm glad that Scott remembered you. That's a good one. The Exxon Valdez. Yeah. Spelled like Valdez. Right. But it's Valdez. Valdez. <laughs> Look, right, when Scott. you're drinking that much vodka at the uh, station control <laughs> after <laughs> <laughs> it's Valdez. <laughs> Valdez nuts. <laughs> uh, you know that, that joke was made several times really on that shit. The first time ever said on Earth was then, but then it got overshadowed by that inconvenient <laughs> global viral trash. <laughs> right. Yes, and not to be confused with the coffee guy, Juan Valdez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, now if there's anybody's name, they gotta explain it's Valdez, not Valdez. I'm not the oil dudes. Yep, yep. Okay, I'm done. I'm the coffee guy, not the oil guy. Exactly. Calm down. <laughs> All right, Scott. Puff or pass? Who am I? Puff. I'm a well-known actor known for one motherfucking word that I, if I don't <laughs> motherfucking say, I'll motherfucking stutter. <laughs> Samuel <laughs> Jackson. That's yeah. correct. <laughs> I get it. Oh, <laughs> I had, to, uh, get confirmation. Yeah, I had to get confirmation from Luke on that. I was like, is that really like a stuttering or a defense mechanism for stuttering for him? He's like, yep. I'm like, sweet. I did not know that. That explains a motherfucking lot. We all got coping <laughs> mechanisms. Hey, I'll have to motherfucking try that sometime. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Take a motherfucking page out of his motherfucking book, motherfucker. Feels <laughs> fucking good, doesn't it, motherfucker? <laughs> How's it taste, motherfucker? He's fucking good. All right. All right, Scott. Puff or pass? Tragedies. Puff. The deadliest earthquake ever happened in this country in 2010. The deadliest... Oh, fuck me. Deadliest earthquake ever in 2010. I don't think this is right. I'm going to say the earthquake in Japan that not that reactor, but that's not right. But that's what I'm going to say. Okay, yeah, that is indeed not right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fudge, can you scale? Whoa. Was it in China? No, that is incorrect as well. Ah, uh, well, fuck me. It was Haiti. Yeah, it was the island. Oh, I mean, no, sure. Wow, that's, I should have known. Wow. <laughs> And that is it for tragedies. How? Oh, oh, thank God. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, Scott, you still have control of the board, and the category is animals. Huh. What is the fastest animal in the world? Cheetah. That is correct. And that is it for animals. <laughs> Two <laughs> categories down. Nitty gritty. Yep. All right, Scott, puff or pass? Disaster movies. I have no choice. I'm going to have to oh. All right. There's an asteroid heading towards Earth, but Bruce Willis is going to save us. He's going to save us from that Aerosmith song, though. 
Yeah, so and our dirt will be. <laughs> I don't want to blow my eyes. <coughs> and now Dirk is not listening. Scott, Scott loses 500 points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you. Good. Uh, anyway. Did we forget to tell you the Steven Tyler rule? That's our fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oops, we overlooked that one. All right, Scott, puff or pass? Disaster movies again. Uh, All right. Holy shit, there's sharks being thrown through the air. Save us, Steve Sanders. Fucking shark NATO. <laughs> right? It, it is shark NATO, right? <laughs> Yeah, but oh. I think it was Scott's, Scott's turn. Yeah. I, th oh. I thought he said pass. I thought he Did said he? pass, too. I Did said he say puff. Yeah, he said puff. Oh, oh. fair enough. My answer <laughs> is I, I did. Sharknado. As, as, as long as I'm not <laughs> alone, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, I last week. I didn't un... <laughs> yeah, Well, uh, uh, Sharknado's correct. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Scott, Puff or Pass? Who am I? Because uh, that was the last of the disaster movies as well. Thank that Puff. This is, the, this is that rough-ass one. I'm an English doctor that made one of the biggest medical breakthroughs in, in 1796 when I created the first vaccination. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's when Luke lost some friends. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> no. Uh, He's gained my love even more, but pass. I could name them. Can't get it. All right, Fudge. Can you steal? I do. I need the full name. Uh, if you get his last name, if you get his last name, I'll take it. Yeah. Is is I I feel like I'm going to get this wrong because I feel like it's getting misconstrued with some uh, like a name now. But is it Jenner? That is correct, actually. Oh, Holy my shit. fuck. Oh, Ed Oh. Edward oh, Edward. I almost puked. I almost puked. <laughs> the steal for 50 points and control of the board. He's I can't believe that one got to get That was that one where I was puke. like, man, this one, no one's going to get this one, but I was wrong. Puke, you son of a bitch. Puke. It's going to puke. It's going to puke. God, Vince was so happy. He could just... He's got a, he's got a, he felt the joy in that moment. And don't you wish you could be as happy as man? Long? Right. All right, Fudge. Well, 50 points to you and control the board. Uh, offer pass. Uh, puff. All right. I made it big with songs like Back to Black and Rehab before I joined the infamous 27 Club. Amy Winehouse. That is correct. And that is the last question of the game. Oh, is it? That's it. Oh shit! Oh, well, Scott wins. Scott wins. Oh, I don't know that. I've been keeping track. I'm pretty. I have. <laughs> I think it was like super close. Like I think. It was close, but I'm pretty. Like a hundred or or hundred and fifty somewhere in there. Well, let's find out for sure from Wiz. Okay. What was the final score, there, Wiz? At the end of the game, Tyler Fudge has one thousand five hundred. And Scott Greer has twenty-two fifty. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Last time we checked, he had sixteen hundred, and then he went on a fucking roll. <laughs> <laughs> Scott I, defends I his crown once again. My life, yes. Actually, Scott defends his crown for the first time. Oh, he won it? it last time. This is his first defense, and it was a successful one. But well, a good try true. from uh, Tyler Fudge. Find the skin you. on my fucking teeth. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Scott, I appreciate the uh, the the, the well fought game, and uh, I hope uh, you can't sleep tonight, you piece of shit. <laughs> 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 I appreciate you being a good sport, a worthy competitor, and I'm mostly tonight, so you win. And I'll make well, sure to check your Suplex City limits out sometime. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, if you can't sleep tonight, just call me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that all here. <laughs> call me, maybe. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this was a lot of fun. Huh? Oh, yeah. Again, I, I, this thank you to 
Yeah, Scott, I, I, Rear and Tyler Fudge. Oh, this is a yes, pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah, and, uh, well, uh, depending on how long we keep this rolling, we might end up coming back around to you again sometime, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sounds good. I'll be happy to come on anytime. Sweet. We have to get you back on again for sure. For sure. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to go eat because. You know, time differences and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Well, you so, go enjoy your meal. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir. You're Bye. the man. Thanks for doing okay, this. Night, man. Thanks. Oh, thank anyway, you. thank you. Absolutely. Bye. Later. And Scott, of course, you're the man <laughs> as usual. I'm, uh... Uh, what, wasn't that nice? Wasn't that nice? Yeah, he's a cool guy, that <laughs> Tyler. He's a good dude. I enjoyed I enjoyed yeah. meeting him. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> he's, Canadians, they're all friendly. He's nothing like that <laughs> asshole Jim Vicious he does the show with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that damn Jim Vicious guy. Oh. I can get him out here sometime. That fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know how he puts up. Well, I got lucky again, so you know I'm not claiming any real victory here. You won by 750, dude. I don't think that's yeah. luck. <laughs> it's luck. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, oh, he did after Napoleon defeated he didn't the, up in general, the tragedies. Okay. The Austrian general said to Napoleon, Ugh, uh, you're, "You only won because your generals were lucky." And Napoleon mm -hmm. said, "Well, motherfucker, give me lucky generals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat my dick." Nope. I still won. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to say that. Oh, podcast. I don't want to destroy your show. <laughs> you guys let me on. I had so much fun with this. Yeah, man. I'm glad you come on, man. If you thought that would destroy our show, you don't listen to us much. <laughs> <laughs> we do a pretty good yeah. job of it ourselves. But yeah, have yeah, a good showing for you. Can, you can expand your universe into how of self destruction. <laughs> yeah, he got the de, the luck was definitely strong with the category. The, the fucking tragedy, tragedies was right up his alley, and it just kept hitting fucking three over and over again. Three, three, three. <laughs> I have to admit, that's what I'm saying. You, you know, he could not the other way. Yeah. You lucky bastard. <laughs> exactly. You brought lucky me around. Trouble. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, as I we'll said, you're an employee drinking my dad's beer. You know, I'm <laughs> blessed. <laughs> <laughs> At least oh, I'm a champ shit. somewhere. <laughs> I'm winning something, damn it. No, I'm fucking, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen next week because, as I said earlier, I'm not going to be in town next week. So, I'm not sure if Mojo and Wiz want to try to come up with some categories and whatnot. They can put something together for next week, and or if we're just going to put it off for an additional week, and Scott will get two off weeks as champion. <laughs> yeah, I don't we'll know see. either, actually. But right, well, what we'll I figure do it out, know, we'll get back to you. I got some tunes lined up, and I'm ready, and there they go. This week on Yankee and the Brave. Back at it like a crack at it, Mr. Black Magic, crack a beast back. Hey, Scott, before you go, would you like to plug your show? <laughs> well, I just want to let everyone know it's pathetic with Scott and Rye Bread, the only podcast that's actually worse than this one. We're going to go <laughs> live Saturday, whatever next Saturday is. I think it's the 13th. It's... I'm pretty sure it's the 13th. Yeah. Yes. Yep. It'll be in the afternoon. You'll find us live on Mixler. We'll put... I'll put the word out there. Yes. You'll want to tune in, people. Someone's going to say something. And that's all I'm going to say <laughs> about that. Excellent. That's all I got to say about that. Okay. And we're back out. Back in the dance when I'm talking rat at that time. I'm running a truck of a sucker shit. Matter of fact, it's the acid. <laughs>
Amen. We have returned. <coughs> We're back to do shout outs. <coughs> yeah, a little anticlimactic. I just did a day when I could barely breathe. <laughs> I don't have the list, so. All right. We're doing shout outs by memory again. Well, at least we know how they start. We always got that. We'll always have yeah. a way to start. Yeah, we'll always start it with Steve and Millen. Steve Hall. Millen. Steve Millen. Check, check him out on uh, letterbox.com. <laughs> letterbox. <coughs> which we refer for all kinds of movie reviews. A ton. Me. Thousands upon thousands. 172 yep. billion. And then check out our boy and it's your boy. Babs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks uh, again to him for coming on with us last week. Yeah, you might remember him uh, discussing the cops beating the shit out of protesters and his coronavirus conspiracy theories that seem to have pissed off Papa Dave. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm not on board with those coronavirus conspiracy theories for the record. I'm but not anyway. either. I mean, it's real. <laughs> yeah, obviously. It's just not as hardcore as we thought it was going to be. Now, make sure you check out Dirt Sheet Dudes, the Boxman, Anthony and Spark. You can also check them out at Hollywood Hangouts. Hollywood. Movies. <coughs> yeah, we're just kind of... Hollywood. <laughs> something, 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 Hollywood. I yeah, don't know sure you... any more of the words, but it goes like this, and I'm going to stop now. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, make sure you check out Shaheen over there. At, uh, wait, he doesn't even do wrestling over there. Name it. I need to update the shit, even though I don't have the fucking thing in front of me anyway. We're doing the thing. Check cooking out his new show. Just, yeah, Cooking with Shaheen and the other show he's doing too. Most, more importantly, go buy a fucking his artwork from nuclearheatshop.com. Good shit over there. It's new. You give him <laughs> the monies. And he gives you the pictures. Eventually. Sometimes. Uh, so check out. <laughs> make sure you check out Wrestling Soup with Anthony Missionary Thomas and Joseph Numbers and John Draper. Mish. Great. With, um, with oyster crackers hmm. is how I prefer. Yeah. Numbers. Check over out here. Bobby Anthem and. Bobby Blades over on the Inhuman Experience. Hey, we just heard some Bobby Anthem. No. And and my favorite <laughs> as well, Planet Rock and Tours. Oh, yeah. I was gonna Another say, Bobby. You check out Planet Rock and Tours with Bobby, Papa Dave, oh. and Yuck Nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Um, also, make sure you check out Bobby Anthem's solo show. He hasn't put, done a new one in a while, but even if. If you haven't heard, heard it, go back and listen to it. If you have heard it, go back and listen to it again. <coughs> Search my lost soul with Bobby Anthem. Do it. What the fuck else are you doing right now? Uh, all right. You asshole, just go listen to the damn show. It's great. Jesus. Yes, and the, both Searching for My Lost Soul and Planet Rockin' Tours is way better than this. Yeah. Come on, what are you doing? Idiots. <laughs> oh. Make sure, make sure you check out our brothers in smoke, fellow podcasters, super so Susan, the Jim Vicious, and as you heard earlier on the show, Tyler Fudge. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes Good burbs. Over there. Yep. And sometimes <coughs> burbs. Not very often. Check out. Hmm. Check out Dirk. Do it. On um, whatever the fuck he's doing, his name, the name of his show is this week. Oh, it's Dirk and April show. Yeah, the Dirk and April show. And or every once in a while, he has point seven the Mustang or something like that. Yes, yep, that's still the two. And also, apparently, the WNC Super Party Part Two. Yeah, yeah, I'm confused on that part. It means two in French. Well, yeah. That part <laughs> <is not> <laughs> Like, did the WNC Super Party come back already? Or did they form more people? Or is it just like 
Dirk stole their name and he's doing a solo thing. <laughs> well, he does like to change his name a lot. It could just be that. <coughs> it's not even ignorant, but he still tries to change it. And he's like, coincidentally, that that's the name that the random name generator came up with today. <laughs> WNC Super Party Part D. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Part D. Make sure you get in the corner yeah. with uh, Yuck Nasty and Dogberry. Oh, yeah. Yuck Nasty. But just wear protection while you're in that corner. Trust me. Wear protection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who also strong. is a part of the Rock on Tours. I was listening to them a little bit on Wednesday on my Wednesday night on my drive home, actually. Yeah, they brought uh, Mandy on, and they were doing prank calls to a... Uh, Hotel in Georgia, I believe. It was good times. <laughs> I wonder if that was on the uh, night the lights went well, out in Georgia. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Get, get from uh, every moment. <laughs> who, who else are we missing here? Uh, don't forget to check out It's Pathetic with Scott and Rybread. Yeah, he is. As, as Scott said earlier, they will be on this Saturday. I'll be Let's listening as long as I remember. Fucking Mixler alerts me. That too. <laughs> yes, we cannot count on Mixler. Last time I got the alert, I jumped in there and it was like, the last comment was like from 10 minutes ago. I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I Mine it without Gale is always like an hour later. <laughs> and it's basically like them doing their shout outs. <laughs> Are saying who who who's in the chat that we get to say goodbye to? <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, like, thank you, Mixler. <laughs> uh, who else we missing? Who else we got to shout out? I, feel, I know we're missing someone, or at least I feel like we are. Well, you could always. Well, we used to do Super Party. Yeah, I know. I didn't do that one on purpose because, well, you, you, unfortunately, they're done. You you could always. Go back and listen to the Transcontinental Project with Luke Birch and Sensible Sam on the show reel and on YouTube and uh, anywhere else that podcasts are available. Yeah. Yes. You can do that. You can do that. Sam, wherever you are, I hope you are safe. And, wherever uh, you are, I hope the dude has a giant wang. <laughs> 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 yeah. And, uh, fuck, I guess that's, that's it. That's all I can think of. What about the, the one I'm we always use to, one, but... uh, close out the show? Oh, what well, shit. I was say, how the fuck am I forgetting? How the fuck it's made? Spade! S- Motherfucker Spade. S-P-A-I-D. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's like AIDS, except you put the S in the front and put a P in front of that. <laughs> <laughs> it is. A lot like that, yeah. That motherfucker's paid. That's S P A I D, not A D E. Yeah. Okay. We've already been over that yeah. several times. I covered it. Okay. Yeah. Last quick shout out to Scott. Fucking uh, June, Lenny. What are they getting shout outs for? They didn't do shit. Dirk and Luke for hanging out in the chat with us tonight. Oh, like that's a big thing. 